Nah, for real. I did not know that. I don't know if the world knew that. Uh, <laughs> man, the world probably don't know that. Yes, thank you, Blue Flag, for telling us what happened. <laughs> they probably like, thank you for letting the world know what happened, how we got our hood took. <laughs> you know where you at when you look on the ground and see a hit up. What? They know this rabbit town. Cadillac. You see how every street got these alleys, man. This shit treacherous in each alley. You see it though. I know they hate this. This is probably when they come through trying to look. It's like, huh? Oh, huh? <laughs> Like you said, changed up. Niggas are snitching now. Homies is, niggas be jealous of each other. The ops don't walk up. They back to old school drive-bys. God damn, man. Yeah, we, 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 we back here, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> man. Oh, I forgot you was even on the phone that fast. Hey, bro, I'm hot. Uh-oh. Get this, get this. What's going on? No kicking, squabble up. Y'all bang, bro? Got bang? No, no West Side Locos? Cause I'm gonna keep saying the same. <laughs> they gonna see blue flag really be outside from daytime to nighttime. <laughs> Valley Club, the cult. Valley Club, the cult. Okay, babe, it is I, the biggest cactus here on planet Earth, aka at Court Capital. And you're probably thinking to yourself, like, why the fuck are you in the alleged most dangerous section of West Los Angeles, California, the home of gangbang activity with Blue Flag 1900, a real certified savage? Like Big Cactus, are you crazy? Have you lost it? Are you off your rocker? And of course to that, you know I've got a perfectly valid explanation. If you've been a loyal viewer here on the Valley Club channel, then you've had to have seen the story of Blue Flag 1900, a playboy gangster success story. The interview where I sat down with Blue Flag while he was here in Phoenix recording some music and he depicted for y'all what it was like coming up in West LA's Playboy Gangster territory. A territory on the west side of LA which was once peaceful and a place for high earning black professionals who participated in various pastimes. And one of the predominant pastimes of these West LA community members was forming dance crews to participate in dance battles. West LA was flooded with not gangs, but dance groups that, that, that danced against each other. It was like gangbang. It took off a fight. And one of the predominant dance battle crews in West LA was, you guessed it, the Playboys. And then, according to various sources on the net, once gangbanging took all the way over and became a means of survival in LA, the Playboy dancers became Playboy gangster crips in the late 80s, early 90s. Fast forward to today and despite a turbulent upbringing, our guy Blue Flag has managed to find success as an artist, garnering himself a small, yet solid and loyal cult following. During that interview with him in Phoenix, I stated that I was a big fan of Big Sad and the whole 1900 movement in general and how they've managed to independently grind their way to the top of the LA rap scene. Especially being as though they didn't have any handouts or big homies who blazed a trail for them like a lot of other hoods do in Cali. So on my last trip out to LA, it was only right that I'd tap in with our guy Blue Flag and see if I could come spend a day with him and the guys in his section to show y'all what it's like in the La Cienega Heights neighborhood of Los Angeles, California, home of the Playboy Gangsters, aka the Rabbit Town. Nineteen hundred. You finna say? We outside. You finna say? Just cooling on the block. Where exactly are we, Blue Flag? Man, we right here in the Los Angeles Heights on Corner Street, in between Cadillac and Guthrie. This not the nineteen hundred side though, but this the two thousand side. This the main apartment. The Booger Wolf right here. Man, nineteen hundred side across, but you know, same. Booger Wolf? Yeah, we call this the Booger Wolf. Oh, okay. Because back in the day, this was a, there still is a section eight, but all the Booger Wolf lived in here and all the homies had a Booger Wolf here, so they call this the Booger Wolf. <laughs> That's they what like, it was known for? They like, shit, as long as a nigga got a, as long as a nigga got a bitch where, where nigga could, uh, kick it out, no matter how she looked. Yeah, we were good. Mm-hmm, everything good, for That's real. That's how it went back in the day. They're like, we can come pick them in your spot, all the homies? Are we in there? What are the parameters, like, for, for people at home? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, me, personally, we got a big ass hood. Right. But the main part that I feel like that's like our square, and I feel like it starts from Sawyer, from there to Robinson, 
the La Cienega, it's like a box, you know? Right. We got everything on the little outskirts too, but like really just directly in the hood. Yeah, Sawyer, the Cadillac, all in La Cienega, yeah, the Robinson, <laughs> right there in the hood. I don't know, it's like the same with everywhere though. Everybody got their own little like, I, I say their own little things that they love about their hood. Like me, I, you know, I have fun in my hood. I had big shit, like it was fun. For me, I ain't gonna lie, it was fun. Oh yeah, what would you say was kind of the best part of growing up in this stuff, in this part of LA? Saying that, saying that, um, you see that car right there? Yeah. This whole axe in the truck though. That's right here. Jerk chicken. I, I don't want the fall though. This no. one's gonna fall. They gave us jerk chicken, no sauce, gang. Yeah, they don't know what the hell. Yeah, y'all getting a bad review. You lucky y'all. You lucky hey. that nigga didn't know the name of the restaurant. No, I, I, I I'm telling. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm finna keep Lee off. Oh. This was not it. There's no way they didn't put no jerk sauce on the on the jerk chicken and on the rice. Oh, come on, gotta tighten up. Come on, man. Tighten up. Um, but yeah, like you said, best part was just being you, having fun. Yeah, and saying the money that, like I said, because obviously you started getting out too far from us that see much. So it's like, me really want to get some money. It wasn't that hard because it was around us, you know? Right. It wasn't around us. It wasn't easy, but it ain't that hard, though. So when you made the choice, like, okay, I'm going to focus a little less on this more on getting money. It wasn't that hard to transition. Mm -mm. But I like nice Right. I like nice shit. I want to pull up. I want to shoot the next time. We, you, you come with me when I go buy that Rolls Royce, man. Let's we going to vlog up in there next, man. Blue it. flag, and I just buy the Rolls Royce. A crazy blue color that they ain't never seen. Hard. No, for real. Hard. Yeah, yeah. With the flag interior. Ooh, with the flag interior? <laughs> the flag. Damn, he's doing too much. <laughs> he ruined the core. But what would you say in contrast to that? That's kind of the rougher part of growing up over here. What was your... Man, when you had nowhere to go. Really? Rough part. Hell yeah, I'm gonna get cold at night. The rough part, I can't even say like, I can't say division with the homies, but that's like a main one. What kind of sparks the division? I've heard that in like several people and stuff like that. Is it females? Is it jealousy? Envy? Is it, oh, he's trying to look harder than me? It'd be all, it'd be, it'd be all to be above. All to be above. It'd be, it'd be, I feel like what up my hood though is where somebody told and he was like a killer, baby. So when he told all the killers, like, hold the fuck up, that nigga know about what I did, and well, you know? So I feel like that kind of made everybody kind of like, not everybody, but it made a, a good percentage of people that's really, like, like put the stamp on this shit, made them back up. Yeah, he made me back up, cause it's like, it's, it's just scary to know, like, damn, hold on. If I could I be next, and they're gonna tell on me next or something? So everybody just do the right thing, just, you know, back away and be like, you know what, this ain't it right now. That seems like in the culture of this period, an influx and snitching, or da, 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 da. has there been like an influx here or just everywhere? You think that's just a thing? What, what, what's your take on that? Yeah, it's bad. I feel like everybody, like, like I said, it's everywhere though. That telling people, I think it all came because, like, people don't. Nothing happens to them no more, you know what I'm saying? So, when shit don't be happening to people, they get to see, like, okay. And then now the police is really protecting them. They give you some money, give you a spot, give you the that you ain't never had in your life. Just, and you ain't gotta do no jail time. So you gotta think about it. it's really your morals, if you was raised right or not, you feel me? Some people just wasn't raised to know, okay, mom, uh, like, like what they say, my mom told me, if you see your friends running, you run too. Ask them questions later while y'all running, because then you're gonna be the last one and they gonna do something to you. So it's kind of like if you was raised on a certain aspect of no street code and just life code, you don't tell on your friends, you should be good. But other than that, some people would be like, this shit, man, I can't do no jail time. It's like, that shit's kind of backwards too. Yeah, I don't know. That shit's up though, right? Okay, what, dude. What would you say is kind of the difference between your gen and this new gen coming up? Is there a difference? Or? Hell yeah, my brain's still different. I got, man, where I f up at, I be thinking I got the mindset like uh, the 80s movie or something. And life is not like that no more. It's different. There's cameras right there. There's ring doorbells. There's th people snitching. Like, you can't just do nothing you want to do no more and be a real nigga or think you, you know it's not going to work. Being tough, I, I I learned being tough don't get you nowhere. I learned at 18, my enemies told on me. I learned that fast. What? All that trying to be tough and do and have a name, all it's going to do is lead you to get told on. They don't even want to kill you no more. They just want to tell on you. For real, that's how scary these dudes be now. Just think about it, they so scared. They like, man, telling on them ain't gonna do nothing. We got, I mean, killing them not gonna, we can't kill them. So, you gotta tell on them. 
Man, that's crazy. They're like, we can't kill him. He keep coming over here doing shit to us. How are we gonna kill him? You don't know what? That's tail. That should be working for some of them niggas though, man. They get like, it's, I'm gonna say it, I don't care. Because I always thought that I was gonna diss, but I ain't gonna even diss. I, was, <laughs> I, th I thought the gear games got they hood took by the 18 streets. This is what I thought, you feel me? Just from the history that we heard and what happened and all this shit. No. My homies told me this, some real homies told me this. Like, nah, nigga, they didn't get they hood took because the 18s was whooping their ass and busting on them and doing shit. Nah, they told on them. Essays got a green light to tell on blacks, you feel me? If some people don't know that, but a lot of people probably do know that. But the Spanish got a green light to tell on black. So once that happened, and they all you gotta do is tell on all the killers. Now who now who they beefing with? The niggas that shooting, that's Jay Blaze? Yeah. The niggas that the niggas that shooting. They told on them, they told on the killers. So who else out there? All the bush niggas that if they do get shot at or shot, they gone. So that's how they got their hood took. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Like Man, the world probably don't know that. Like the gears probably like, yes, hey, thank you, blue flag for telling us for that. <laughs> they probably like, thank you for letting the world know what happened, how we got our hood took. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all got towed on. <laughs> nah, but nah, but other than that though, like, it's always it's always some to do over here that's one thing i can say it's like if you could find something adventurous to do or exotic female to fuck with over here that's what i do love about the hood we got everything over here this is ground zero for 1900 records so we did jackers and robbers right here in front of the booger wolf i did own that on this street i did uh money power respect on this street Would you pretty much say you and sad and 1900 in general is the reason kind of left so is kind of shining right now. Hell yeah, man. Now, now, now I'm going to get myself some flowers. Man, nobody think of no rapper from West LA except Big Sad, me, and Man. Them the only names that's ringing in West LA that put something on the map. Nobody knew about no music coming out of West LA. And it been stuff going on over here. Right. It been music niggas trying to rap and do shit, but I don't know. They f with us, so we appreciate it. So I love, I love y'all for that, for real. But other than that, it's like, nobody give a f about no music in West LA until, like I said, we came out and started doing shit, you feel me? Where would you say got the most light in LA, like South Central? Music-wise? Yeah. Compton. Compton, 100%. Compton. Okay. Man, they got the rap game on lock, man. I don't know who it is I gotta talk to or who <laughs> what the f go on, but hey, man, I see what the f going on. All the mainstream artists is from Compton. Kendrick Lamar, YG. I can keep going. Just everybody that's big. It's, it's right now that's big. In LA, if you think Los Angeles rapper, they all Roddy Rich, even though he fell off, they said. You feel me? Like everybody is out of Compton. So I peep that out. Like, damn. Man, y'all, y'all, y'all got something going on in Compton. Compton got their foot in the door. They don't want the gay to put their foot in their door. Forgetting that's you. All the yeah, time. they don't want the gays to Crips to have their foot in the door. The music street and music industry is over with. They don't want the gays to have no control over it. Yeah. So they could just imagine, damn, the gangsters got the music. And you just dropped a new tape, too. How you feel about that tape you just dropped? Nah, that was, uh, it was going up, too. People yeah. with it. Yeah. I learned one thing about me, though. They, like, not saying they be sleep on the music, but they be liking the visual. Put a good little line. Straight drop. I should drop a in here. Regular. It's the regular <laughs> shit. But don't do this shit, kids. It's bad. I got it. I start drinking lean with these niggas, man. P Trey, Sai. I used to be young as hell, and they used to just be like, man, you tripping, calm down. Like, you know, if you ain't never sit back, they don't even talk to me about no lean. <laughs> I was I should have bought the spray can. Man. You know where you at when you look on the ground and see a hit up. What? Oh yeah, for sure. Rabbit gang. They know this rabbit town. Time I was walking, I went to the hospital in the legends. The legends, that's another little apartment complex? Nah, it's another hood. Okay. They, they neighborhoods. I didn't know where the I was at. So I started looking on the ground, <laughs> seeing motherf BK 3K. I said, oh shit, I'm somewhere I am not supposed to be. For this sure. ain't it. No, Cadillac. Nah. Niggas don't want to walk down Cadillac. Cadillac. Cadillac to the rabbit trap. I ain't gonna lie, man.
It just used to be like super fun, just, just I don't know, when everybody used to be, I feel like riding in bikes type of days. When everybody used to ride bikes, yeah. be mobbing. That's what we need. I used to go buy a gang of bikes for all the little homies. <laughs> now, every time I come home, I want to see y'all mobbing on the bike. Niggas on pegs and shit. Oh, that's one thing too. You gotta, you gotta see how every street. Oh, that was on that. You see how every street we got these alleys, man. This shit is treacherous in each alley. You see it go all the way down. All the way from Cadillac to the main street to the cut through Guthrie. We gonna let this go by. see every every street. We got cold alleys. Like I said, it's like the square part. So usually, like I said, we got all type of other shit through the hood. Out, you know, it's the set. But the main shit, from this Cadillac up this way, you make a right on any of these streets. Yep. You in the hood? Perfect little square. Yeah, you in the hood. Oh, you guys, boys had your own little square cut out of the west. Mm hmm. Oh, a perfect square too. That's the cold part. What's like the race relations over here? I like to ask every neighborhood. Like sometimes it's like, eh, Mexicans don't get along with black or. Nah, we get along with the SAs right here. You feel me? Like, it ain't no problem with them like that. But because really, we don't share a hood with nobody. Okay. So it's just like, you know, it don't be too much going <laughs> on. But I don't know if this the boys right here. I don't know what the is. Yeah. Police. Yeah. yeah, he 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 got a different job. Yeah, yeah, he got a yeah. mission. Yeah, he ain't even on that. He like a full duty. Yeah, supervisor. Yeah, no, we get along with the SAs though around this mall. I said we don't share no hood with nobody, so it don't be like a big issue. Don't I feel like the only issue we probably do got is them trying to tag. You know how Mexicans do everywhere. They gonna hit up everywhere they go. <laughs> See another cold alley. Oh, Ali, man, that's one thing too. The ops don't never want to come through the hood because they know they like, okay, we gotta catch them coming on the outskirts like this. They ain't going through them alleys. They not. <laughs> not doing it, huh? Yeah, they not. <laughs> Remember I said sh being over here young, and they had all type of flavors. Look at my young nigga over there. What his black guys doing over there with the little Hispanic? Look, got him some flavor. Uh, <laughs> so you know we with the Hispanics over here, man. That's why my name Bandera Osu. You got a whole female. song about the South American oh, women. God, we yeah, love these females. Cool. That's crazy. Yeah, it did. Yeah, too. me and my nigga Smooth out that had yeah. a ball. That's the one, you know. Little Force, aka Smooth Blue Cheese. We used to have pit bulls walking through the set. Now we got my poodles and my nigga. Right. God damn. Change it. <laughs> Changing. <laughs> Nigga used to see rock rollers and pit bulls and German shepherds. Now it's poodles and white niggas in the sky. Damn. What do you think? What do you think of the change? Is it a positive change or what? Man, I don't care. I don't care. Huh? Man, I don't care. <laughs> hey, got nothing to do with me. Right. Flag, flag is global. You man. might, yeah, you might see me walking down with my daughter down C Street with a pool. You know? <laughs> man, we was supposed to go up to Hamilton. Some young niggas was supposed to get put on, but you know that's. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel like sitting up at no high school. How you call it? <laughs> if they want to get put on bad enough, they will see them walking down this way. Another alley. This Bedford right here. If you don't, if, if you don't want to be a crip, then leave that, then leave the alley. This is my second street. I'm from Corner Street. What? I kick it on Bedford a lot. I be on Bedford. <laughs> I, I be on Bedford. I ain't gonna lie. You gonna catch me on C Street in Bedford? I don't put them Garf niggas though. They ain't gonna like that when they see this. Garf? Nah, I don't know. That's some old niggas. I don't know. I ain't from Garth, Corning okay. Street. Okay. So Garth is like the generation before you? Yeah, and I, nah, like nah, 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 hell no. Nah. It's, it's, it's a gang of homies from Garth, man. Uh, Corning Street, too. We got tight loads from Garth, but I just be getting cool with they ass. Yeah, I'll be like. Cause we from two different <laughs> streets, you feel me? I'm like, I ain't from Garth. That shit's weak. Right. But it's the same uh, shit, ultimately, right? Yo, yo, it's the okay. same. It's just a different street. No, not fly. With the I feel like the Enemigos know what street to come to. They gonna come to C Street first. They ain't gonna go to Garth. Garth the safe block. <laughs> they ain't gonna like this. <laughs> I love you, C Sick. Free my nigga C Sick, gang. He gonna be hot. Hey, I'm talking about Garth, nigga. Them niggas gonna be hot. Tell him, tell him what street we from, okay? 
Street, 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 I don't know why, and this is the cold part. I don't know why the enemies love coming to Joe's Market and recording. That's crazy. It, it don't be nobody in here, and they want to record, do all the extra shit. Oh, yeah, they got a new owner like a motherfucker. This shit used to be. That's why I say grand open. This shit used to be uh, owned by Joe's, my agent partner Joe, man. That's why I'm trying to figure out who the owner is now. Get cool with them. That's why I ain't trying to be disrespectful and smoking here. <laughs> Okay, we outside, man. Good vlog. Yeah, you see, I was sitting, I was sitting right here when we did Jaggers and Robbers. I was sitting right up there. You seen the paperwork, niggas? Yeah, the truth out. Oh, yeah, look at this. Shit. This is out. You niggas wanna come to Joe's Market and tag? I don't know why they wanna come to Joe's Market and tag. Like, nah, it's crazy because we just went through all the streets down there. <laughs> It was on C Street, you ain't see one hit up. You come to Joe's Market with it right down the street from my elementary school, they want to tag and shit. Like, come on, bro. Nobody, we, hey, that's one thing, we adults. What the f We look like hanging out by an elementary school. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? No, for real. Why would we do that? Come on, man. That's just weird. So they come here and record, knowing we are not right here. Like, just don't make no sense. And I like that. I shit, all the homies know already. I'll tell the truth. We don't even come to Joe's Market. They don't got what we want. We go to PM. They don't even sell liquor here. <laughs> so any real hood nigga is going to go to a liquor store with liquor. <laughs> they ain't coming here, man. Get some chips. All right. I guess. So, so for real. We go. Legendary Joe. We on Cadillac. We don't hit Shenandoah. This is like the outskirts. What you say? Is this like yeah, the yeah, this the, yeah, this the outskirts. Now the last block is Robinson Way. Yeah. That light is. That's the last block. And that's what I was talking about too. Once you cross that light, you go into something totally different. That's what the Jewish is at. You feel me? Crossing over, you'll be able to tell. Like, whoa. When you leave, shit, we can leave the guy. I'll show you. You go right. You're like, God damn, these houses is huge. Just Right when you cross away, Caressing Heights, the Jewish shit is Caressing Heights. We lost Sienega Heights, they ca they Caressing Heights. Hey! Hey, mama! We can mind the Bedford. Yeah, I don't want y'all hey. to try on camera. Uh, hey, homies, yeah, yeah, homies that nigga hit me. Cause a China, didn't that happen to you? A Chinaman. Yeah. Yeah. China right. yeah. He didn't yeah. stop. Yeah. Hey, he didn't stop. He didn't stop. He didn't stop. He didn't stop. It's that little bad bitch in front of us. Give it back to him. Right there. Bad bitch. Hey! Hey! Little girl! Mama! Bad pack! Mama! Give me drop your wallet! Hey! You dropped your burner! You dropped your wallet! Burger got her. I told you. Got her. Burger? That's crazy. Your burger, you dropped your burger is crazy. So sad trying to check if it's five dollars. You trying to take her lunch money? <laughs> hey, this nigga trying to take her a little lunch <laughs> money. <laughs> now you gotta subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mama. You gotta subscribe to YouTube now. You got YouTube? Marketing. Really marketing himself. Pro marketer right there. You know what I'm saying? All his fans out the butt. Off his two feet. Each and every fan out the butt. He was supposed to be out here in that CD era. Man, huh? The CD era out of one. Now you got, hey man, you got to subscribe. You got YouTube? Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. Watch everything. Yeah. Shit, even go to sleep, put your phone on mute, and just let that shit stream. Thank you. Now we got the Bedford block. Yeah, this, this, this block, I feel like, this, man, I don't even want to say this funded in Corner Street, but. Man, yeah. Cause I, I want to say I have more like people that stayed on this block that I could with, I should say, you know? Yeah, nah, this was a block back in the day for sure. I'm over here trying to sugarcoat this shit. Yeah, all the hoes stayed on Bedford. Right. All the hoes stayed on Bedford. That's what Bedford was known for. Ooh. Man, you, man, hey, no cap. You know what type of homie I was? These niggas, at the, say I'm lying. I swear to God, they all be trying to smack one homegirl, right? That's from the hood, I ain't gonna say her name. But everybody be trying to smack and get some head and shit. Mm-mm, not happening. Blue flag walk up through the alley. <laughs> I be like this. I be like, hey, come here. 
We gone. <laughs> they be like, bro, what the? We come back 20 minutes later, they looking all like, bro, we've been trying all day. Yeah, y'all not me. <laughs> it was too easy for Blue Flame. <laughs> y'all not too me. Too easy, yeah. Nah, she just like me. Okay. She liked it to everybody, but I think she liked me a little more. Man, I'm gonna get in trouble. I can't say that, man. Okay. I don't got no. I don't got. <laughs> yeah, we, I don't got no uh, preference. We gonna see right here for a little second. I don't got no preference, man. I like them all. I like you know, no, no, no cap. I like what like me. I swear to God, I like what like me. That's not. Yeah, cause what you <laughs> what you like that don't mean nothing no more. Yeah, right. But I did all this too. Not not this, baby. I did this. You see my name right here, big blue flag. Everything right, PBG West Over. Man, they got this. Cover my West LA up. Nah. West LA. Y'all see everything right there? Okay. <laughs> that shit is carved in the cement. This shit is put Big in John Wick did this. Big John Wick did that ugly ass. That shit. He did I ain't gonna lie, cause he did, he did that though. <laughs> I think I did the rabbit too right, right here. here. And it fucked up. Yeah, I did that ugly ass rabbit. It's over, it's stamped forever. I know they hate this. It's probably when they come through trying to look. Like, cook. Oh, cook. <laughs> they can't even whack that up. They like, eat that sniggers, cook. I got think. Oh, right here. Bam. I did this when we was in high school. Damn, like blue flag, a tiger. <laughs> I got all types of hit ups I didn't get in this mother. Man, the homies just stay up top. Man, I used to hate living up there with this nigga. Everybody used to come up. I mean, when they knew I live right here on Bedford. Oh man, I be trying to sleep, homies. Blue flag, come outside. <laughs> hey, Josh, nigga, they play music. I be like, fuck. I can't even say I'm not here. They know I'm here. I'm like, <laughs> run up to do 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 Come on, cuz. Like, bro, it's three o'clock in the morning, bro. Damn. Private right territory. <laughs> Lady home, bro. That's why. Lady midnight. Man, they need to work on their strikes. Put on DPs, put offs. Man. I done had a gang of squad with this. Me and this nigga, they fought a couple times this month. A lot of times, they might beat that nigga ass. Lots of times in this alley. Huh, little sad? Yeah. You heard him? Yeah. Why should he see this? <laughs> That's viral. Uh-huh, yep. Mm-hmm. Got through right now. Every street you go down, it's an alley on both sides. So. Man. Niggas got all type of rabbit holes that they can go to. Rabbit holes, that's what they're called over here. <laughs> Duck off, get off. Yep. Hop, hop to the rabbit trap real quick, go to the rabbit holes. There you go. There you go. Uh, you gotta make that shit look good. You hear what I'm saying? You gonna be like, yeah, in the intro. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now we're on our way up to the store. Yeah, that's right here. Right the store. Hell yeah. That's one thing, too. You see, the hood ain't too far to be walking all around. Right we here. Got a, we got a big hood, but it's simple. Got everything you need right here in this little square. Hell yeah, we got Target over here in the plaza now. They took down, uh, what was that, Toys R Us? Man, I used to love selling games out of there. Shit was easy. For real, wait a minute, I started a whole PlayStation before about the Toys R Us. <laughs> I'm like, they ain't saying nothing. Nigga just, what, nigga, walk, games and all? Nigga just walked out. That's crazy. They, they, they used to have cool security guards that didn't give a Corn in street. It's just funny because I like I said, all the homies watch this. Yeah, nigga, we can rough. C Street versus Garth, nigga. What y'all trying to do? <laughs> nah, we can squabble. Friendly. Yeah, quick friendly. Friendly rumble. That's the shortest thing I've ever brought up. Nah, for real. Friendly rumble. Don't go viral for real. <laughs> man, but like, man, the PBGs are fighting each other. What's your favorite song on the new tape? 
Man, I would say hotter than the fever. That's like the funnest one. I like the but, old guys. Oh yeah, me and Skanky. I with that I one too. That. I fuck with that one too. Old guys, old guys. Yeah, right? <laughs> Back and forth and fuck with that one. I'm talking about. I ain't gonna lie. Had them all was like the one that I really had. Like I enjoyed that one. You know? Okay. Oh yeah, we need to break. Yeah, I got one in the car. Oh no, I put it on the block. That's what he should have did. He should have been walking around with that. Hell yeah, this Los Angeles right here. It's the main street. It's the main right here, all the way down. Cadillac. I love Los Angeles. I ain't gonna lie. When they, when they say front lining, this is really the front lining. What? No. He ain't talking to you, nigga. <laughs> you heard him? Nah, he's talking to this nigga right here. Who are you talking to? <laughs> he's talking about, he talking about, he talking about him. Yeah. This is why I did own that on right here. We did own that right here. I did it pretty much everywhere in the hood, damn near. All the videos. Yeah, right here. Get what you need. Yeah, this is where they got the liquor at. <laughs> For real, anywhere else, yeah, they ain't got no liquor. I don't even, I don't even, oh, I do need, can I get two cents of please? Hey, can you be here? Yeah, he is. Right there. I have to change in my pocket, so. Yeah, I'm going to get a shake. Oh. <laughs> right, this is the one, too. This is the better of the two stories. Yeah, right. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Any type of, not any type of tequila, but I'm a tequila type oh, of nigga. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like tequila. Tequila, how you, how you ready to dance? Yeah, okay. You ready? What you like, dark or tequila? I know even though they got dark tequila. So, tequila or other things, I should say. Tequila. Tequila told you? Tequila, <laughs> tequila. make you want to dance. Tequila one, Hennessy. Look, she looking like, no, no, no tequila? Oh, oh uh, man, you don't, no, you can't no. party with us. There you go. Uh -uh. There you go. <laughs> See, look at you. You see how it's the Ashton Morton? You see how we just walked to the store? You see the Ashton Morton pull up? Chilling. Yeah, they probably came from Beverly Hills or somewhere, but I'm saying, like, that's the nice thing to see. Like, damn, hold on. I, put up I want one of them. Yeah. Posting on Lost Hennigan, though, nigga, see all type of foreign shit that a nigga love and want. Like, hold on. Damn, okay, nigga, I don't want to ride no bucket. Fact. That's out. Yeah, I got to ride some foreign. Don't do what you're supposed to. Oh, for real? Right. But you would never know if you don't see it. Some people don't see nothing, so they wouldn't even know, like I said, what it is or how to get it or even even to start dreaming about it, I should say. You know what they say? You got to uh, vision. Yeah, envision it. Yeah, manifest it. You got to manifest it. But look at that motherfucker. Go. Oh. Call me right now. Talking about you want to pull it. Where you at, man? You missing the vlog. We could walk back to uh, C Street. <laughs> you know what I'm I wish. I, I I need to go do a GoFundMe. See if all my fans can give me a dollar. <laughs> what? You know, man, I'll yeah, be straight. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah. be up. Right. If all my hey, for my Instagram followers, if y'all all could Apple pay me a dollar, what? Ooh, he nigga, the homie said ten dollars. <laughs> I, I just want a dollar. I know they gonna hurt y'all. That's gonna help me. Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, that's what's up. Man, you been straight? Up. Yeah, I'm good. Right, Everything. Nah, for sure. I see you too, man. You know, you doing the same. Yeah. You doing your thing. I appreciate it. Gotta have. You gotta be cool with people in your community, man. Yeah. I, you I know everybody here. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, because they ain't gonna be the ones that protect you and shit when the police come. True. Hey, hey leave him alone. I know him all my life. But some of them would tell on you. Oh, for real. Yeah, I know them all my life. Yeah. He would do that. He would, he would do that. That sound about him. That sound just like that nigga. That nigga would be hot. They rolled down the window. Huh? Oh, shit. They rolled down the window is right when we. Damn, I don't know. I told you, I'll be prepared. I know what them gas is. They're gonna do a drive-by. Like you said, changed up. Niggas are snitching now. 
homies is uh, niggas be jealous of each other and the ops don't walk up. <laughs> they back to old school sh drive bys. God damn, man. Damn. This one my twin stay right here, my best friend Creek Boy, he stay right in this building. Nigga used to be homeless, had nowhere to go. Young nigga had to sleep in his next door. On man, if I'm lying, I'm flying. That nigga, we was slick. I had to sleep with that nigga next door neighbor car that was unlocked every night. But I had to wake up at like six in the morning and go to McDonald's and shit and take a shower, bur oh, yeah. bath real quick, give me something to eat. Hell yeah, I used to be thugging. Like, thugging. That's how it's done right there. Nah, for real. Every day, nigga just be. Man, it was like a certain timing. I know I had to go just so, okay, it's like late. All right, he ain't gonna come out and check his car or nothing. And it was like a car, and then that nigga ain't never drive type shit like that. But nigga used to sleep and I get drunk. I used to go steal my for when Fresh and Easy was open. I think that's the name of the stove, Fresh and Easy. Yeah. They shut them down too, huh? Uh, there's still some in Phoenix. Oh, okay, I think in Cali okay. they might shut some down. The yeah. Fresh and Easy. Fresh and Easy. Or they're natural groceries now. Uh huh. I'm not buying no more. We go to Cali Plug. Shout out Cali Plug, man. They always show me love. Cali Plug. Hell yeah, my nigga. Taco too. Shout out Taco. Anybody need some bomb? Go to Cali Plug. No, go to Smooth. Well, yeah, you can go to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go to Smooth Blue Flag. You can go to us. Yeah. Don't call me. I'll call J Blaze. You know, uh, damn, I'm fucking up. Call Baymax. I'm, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. All right, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm, I'm after, hey. after this video, I'm back. Hey, 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 Cali Plug, my bad. We got people in front of you, my nigga. After this video, I'm back. <laughs> hey, nigga, don't worry. Nigga be like, you gotta hit, ready. hit me first. <laughs> Then hit J Blade. Then hit Smooth. Then hit Baby Mad. Then go hit Cali Plug if they ain't answering. What are they? What are they going for over here? Like they look like. Uh, Man, shit, I wouldn't know. They ain't. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Yes, I need to look it up. But me, what? I'm kind of. How much do you uh, apartments to go yeah, for over here? Like eighteen hundred. Like Depending on. I mean, month for, for a kitchen. For a kitchen, <laughs> for a billion, it's gonna be. A, I mean, for a million, it's a couple. It's gonna be a couple million. Eighteen hundred. Yeah, yeah, for a kitchen. Yeah, fifteen hundred for a kitchen. I apologize. Y'all walk in late. That's how I walk. They walking up the street like this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you ain't never seen nobody mix the Hennessy with the lean. Ever. <laughs> I'm about to say, what you topping off the champagne? Hey, niggas will be like, no! What are you doing? You were the first to do champagne. Death! Man, let me call this nigga baby mad, man. So, hey, this this be a day too for the homies that's watching this. I invited niggas. Y'all didn't pull up, y'all know two things gonna happen. One, you getting DP. You getting your ass whooped. Two, don't call my phone. Cause I posted it, look here, hold on, look, watch it. I posted it where the motherfucking enemigos can see. Oh, that's crazy. Look, two hours ago. Look at 700, so come on, I get some viewers, look at oh, Look, look, I did this, vlog in the set three day. A thousand people, bam. Me showing that we out here two hours ago, we still around. This is live, man, I don't be capping. Uh, they, these niggas ain't gonna pull it through cause they scary. Look. Come on, man, we have been around. No excuses. Oh wait, I gotta show y'all this. This is my twin. Let's see what he posted. Oh, his son. This is my nephew. Free Creek Boy. This Creek Boy. Y'all go follow up right here. Hold on. Creekio 2K3. Y'all go follow up, man. This Creek Boy that I always be talking about. Free my twin. That nigga ugly as a turn. <laughs> ugly ass boy. Free little blue flag. Can't wait till you come home. Free my nigga baby Cram. Feel me? Like 10 years for that nigga. Man, <laughs> free baby Cammy almost home. Free little extras. You feel me? The real extras. That's how you know our homegirls be thugging, nigga. She fresh out of jail. Fresh out. Still got it on. Don't give a f. Nigga, what? Outside. She like, I'm hitting the block. County jail clothes. That fresh out the county jail clothes. Hey, I didn't see niggas do that. Before too, I didn't did it before. Nigga had a jump. Nigga, I did. Nigga, when yeah. I got when I got, when I did my seven, nigga, I came straight to the block with my. Shit on. <laughs> 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 What's going on, three? What's your late? Man, huh? You can pop your. Shit. Man, you see, we had to press five, man. That's that dumbass jail car. 
Uh, tell him, man. What you want to tell him real quick? Thank you. Yeah, you're gonna get that back. Hey, that's how we gotta tell him get the bag for flags. That's the only thing to do for both flags. Show you, my little how you gonna be home soon, man. Huh? Yeah, I'm doing the vlog right now. We just chilling on C Street. Yeah, we 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 crackhead brothers. <laughs> man. Oh, I forgot you was even on the phone. That fast. Hey, bro, I'm hot. Damn. You wanna say what's up to the home girls? Hey, Lady Creek. What other Lady Creek? Bro, say what's up to Lil Flat. Lil Flat, you on the phone? I know you're in jail. Watch this car. Y'all see them niggas? I always say, oh yeah, they janky. They don't know where they going. They was acting like they was gonna make the right, but then they just make that left. I ain't gonna lie, they come back again, bro. Niggas like that smart day. Hey, man. Now. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Oh, I oh, get this. Get this. Get this. Hey, you get this. He said, "Oh, you too, man. Let her tie her hair up." Yeah, man. Let me. Yeah, can I get a hug? Yeah. Didn't kill her. No, I heard that. Bro, bro. Yeah. She did some weird shit. Oh yeah. Oh, stop oh, hey, What's going on? Yeah. Don't pull the hair. Pulling nothing. Oh, oh, lady. Squabble up. Squabble up. Oh, squabble up. No kicking. Squabble up. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, give me my sweater. We got, got it. it. Don't trip. Squabble up. Hey, take your sweater off. Take your sweater off. Rush it. Oh, rabbit trip. Rush it. Wait. Take it off and squabble up. Come on, come on. I try to help you out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know right up. Up. Shut up, and squabble up. Bro, you don't even know Shut up. Bro. This is generals over here. Shut up. You don't run nothing. Shut up. Nigga, squabble up. Don't pull her hair. No, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get up. Don't pull her hair. Yeah, don't make it just because she get a witch on. Don't pull her hair. <laughs> yeah, you got this like a leg. Yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, turn around. Turn around, Steve, turn it out. Get <laughs> generals over here. What you talking to? You be doing this before you was born. <laughs> <laughs> Any nigga got something to say, we can squabble up. I don't know. I don't even know what's the problem. But I know it's a problem. In they feelings? I've been seeing all on Instagram and all that shit. That's weird. No, <laughs> camera right here. I see it on Instagram. She did that the third time. For the third time. Ugh. Ooh. 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 Cause this time, y'all fight enemies, and ain't gonna be no Bitch, break. Bitch, stop pulling my hair. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull her out. Grab left. That's right. Grab left. Shake her hand, Shake her hand. Shake her hand. Shake her hand. Shake her hand. Why are you saying stupid? Shake her hand. That, nah, make it, hey, come on, you already gotta say some off the wall shit. She still wouldn't be from the set. Why would she want to be from the set, nigga? She was really kind of getting with their program. Hey. Yeah, honey, get some. Yeah. Just a chicken. Chicken? Yeah. One chicken. Oh, damn, man. Oh, man. Best of all, you feel me? <laughs> the best guy. For, for, for everybody ground here, and it's over with. Purse? Who the fuck is listening? Y'all bang, bro? Y'all bang? No, no West Side Locos? Y'all tag. P.L. West Side Locos. 
No PAL. Sam PAL. What the f they whistling for? That was their whistling. Yeah. Yeah. They, they trying to they trying to get tamales. That's why. He said they gang bang. Nah, they trying to get tamales. Who? She just said they gang bang. They look like. No, she don't know what she's talking know. about. They whistling for the tamale girl. nigga. Look, they just whistled for the tamale nigga. Nigga, we know gangbangers when we yeah, show I'm, I, I'm looking at what's going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching what's going on. And he calling the tamale nigga. This vlog gonna be good though, because I'm gonna keep saying the same. <laughs> they gonna see blue flag really be outside from daytime to nighttime. <laughs> And them niggas be popping. Don't see I'm just rapping, cause I'm not just Man, rapping. Call me, nigga. I'm you coming. Know, not for real. Call me, nigga. I'm hop skipping away. I'm coming. <laughs> not for real. Yeah. And it's Killer Blue, it's Blue killer. Flag, nigga. Hey, nigga, we out here. Tiny Lux Jenners, we, we out here. J Blaze, we out here, nigga. Venice Killer Blue, we uh, out here. Uh, Rabbit Crib right. Corner Street, oh, nigga. Real. Blue Benji. Uh, we over here eating jerk chicken, <laughs> tamales, <laughs> sipping lean. <laughs> like, come on, man. These niggas, man. Living the life. American dream. Yeah. <laughs> Living best that, that's why it's like, all the time when they say don't entertain certain you really can't. Because people on the internet, that shit that look crazy and look good. Or just what people just can say. Well, just have people uh, confused. Yeah. Or just have people confused. Mm -hmm. like, Y'all are retarded as no, no. But then when niggas really come over and see, that's why I tried to show you. Like, okay, yeah. Uh, I had to really Google it too. I didn't want to. I didn't even know how far it was. But you see, it's 18 minutes away. There and there, 20 minutes away to Beverly Center. Okay, so y'all can't keep talking about oh yeah, right by Beverly Center. No, we're not. Then you see we got all these goddamn alleys and all the cuts and all that. So you see why niggas don't want to come through. Then we prove to y'all that you see where we hang. Them niggas always go to Joe's Market. That's by elementary school, man. These niggas is come on, man. They out of line. Come to the block. They don't come over <laughs> here. They don't want to come where it's really at. Like, they don't do that. I just miss this shit. Like, really yeah, just yeah. hanging. But like I said, the big difference when I used to be able to walk up and look and get to choose what set of homies I want to with. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, now you, kinda, you can't choose which homies you got. Yeah, we all together. You got to stick to yeah, them. Yeah, you got to <laughs> man, with these boys today. Back then, nigga really be like, okay, they deep on Bedford? I might yeah, go up there. All the homies on C Street? Just... All right. I ain't, That's how it was. I ain't yeah. going to Garf. <laughs> <laughs> I know they gonna be like, man, yeah, that's all this nigga. Now ain't nobody around that motherfucker, like, goddamn. Yeah, tell them niggas do their old hood vlog on Garth there. Tell them niggas go do one on Garth and see how it go. I'm like, this shit boring? Yeah, this is You showed us around, man. You showed us around the infamous. And they've been putting it down. Out of sight, out of mind, out right now. BC World still out, going crazy. Oh yeah. Fire project. Me, me and Sad got a tape coming out soon. Man, that's tape gonna be crazy too, y'all. Y'all know that tape gonna be crazy. Just imagine a gang of jackers and robbers on the tape. So y'all got the music. You know what I'm Got the lifestyle. Got the hang. You feel me? Chill, man, with me, bro. I appreciate all the people that with yeah, me and rock with me. You feel me? I just yeah, try to see how we kick it out here, how I do on a regular daily basis every here and there when I'm baby free. That's one thing I can say, man. My fans know what's going on. When I'm outside, I'm outside. When I'm inside, daddy mode. Straight daddy mode. Like Dang. Like, boy. Valley Club, the cult. Valley Club, the cult.